how the ancient Romans counted? It wasn't with the numbers you use today. Buckle up and get ready to decode the secrets of Roman numerals. In this video, we'll crack the code together, learning how to write and understand numbers 1 through 10 using Pango Kaboom. We start with the number 1, written in Roman numerals. This one is pretty easy. Next up, let's tackle Roman numeral 2. Can you guess how it's written? And how do we represent three in Roman numerals? Do you think it is as easy as number two? interesting for number four. Unlike the first three where we just repeated the symbol, Roman numeral four is written in a special way. For five, things get interesting. It might seem logical to keep adding eyes, but the Romans had a trickier way. Take a look at Roman numeral four. Now imagine cleverly removing that first I. That's how we get the symbol V for five. Moving on to six, this one's simple. We use VI for six.
for seven, we see a return to adding symbols. But unlike the first three numerals, here we combine values. We take the Roman numeral for five, V, which represents the larger value and add a two I's after it. Now it is time for the number eight. It is just a five and a three combined. Almost there. Number nine is another interesting case. Instead of adding I's eight times, the Romans used a subtraction method. Imagine taking the symbol for 10X and cleverly subtracting one I from it. That's how we get I and X for nine. And finally, we reach 10, represented by the mighty X. That's all the basic Roman numerals for today. If you enjoyed this journey through numbers, be sure to subscribe for more dives into the fascinating world of math.